One creature that absolutely thrives in the cold weather is the bald eagle. With its numerous waterways, Iowa has become a haven for this national icon. Come winter, hundreds of bald eagles can be seen in the Iowa skies, with several cities honoring their arrival. For over 30 years, Keokuk has done just that, celebrating the hundreds of bald eagles that make their nest along the Mississippi in its annual Bald Eagle Appreciation Days. Come January, bird lovers from across the nation will descend on this small river town in hopes of seeing skies full of eagles. If you're looking for a place to take in the majesty of one of our nation's symbols, the bald eagle, there may be no better location than Keokuk and its January tradition of bald eagle appreciation days. Keokuk actually started it uh, with the idea of trying to develop uh, an appreciation for the eagles and understanding of, of what impact uh, human activities had had and also what people could do to uh, hopefully uh, bring the eagles back from that brink of extinction that they were at in the 60s. Estimated in the 1800s to have a population near 500,000 birds, by the mid-1950s, decades of unregulated hunting mixed with the pesticide DDT had pushed the bald eagle population below 500. Nearly extinct, the federal government made it illegal to hunt bald eagles in the 1940s, and in 1972, a sweeping EPA regulation banned the use of DDT, the most detrimental agent to eagle mortality. Let's not lose sight of the fact that these birds are here in a, in a very positive manner to show us that if we make choices, hard choices for the environment, it's really phenomenal. And, and I think sharing that appreciation is what we really need to do. So bald eagles are once again thriving and easily seen along Iowa waterways. And in Keokuk, the perfect destination for bald eagle viewing can be found thanks to the lock and dam system placed at the confluence of the Des Moines and Mississippi rivers. Keokuk happens to be one of the top five or six places in the country where they tend to congregate. And open water is, is the main reason. Uh, the lock and dam here in Keokuk uh, helps to keep the ice off of the water and they get uh, their, uh, the primary feeding that they do in the wintertime is, is feeding off of fish. But Illinois has done a tremendous uh, service to the bald eagle as well by protecting the, the trees that are across the river from here in Keokuk as a, both a night roosting area where the birds can uh, gather together at night and then also for day perches where they actually will sit and roost looking for their food sources. Tom Buckley is a Lee County conservationist who has been an ardent eagle spectator for years. Helping organize the event, he sees multiple reasons why visitors drive for miles to attend Bald Eagle Appreciation Days. I think obviously being our national symbol it's, is something that uh, uh, people recognize. You see them on the top of a flagpole that's on our money. It's on a lot of different things that, that help identify us as Americans. They're just, they're quite incredible animals and, and there's just a majesty there that I think is attractive to a lot of people. As event attendance continues to soar, the DNR and the Lee County Conservation Board work to educate visitors on the proper way to interact with eagles. But we do a lot of the ethical discussion on not loving them to death or not loving them to where you're harassing them by getting too close. So we want people to stay in their automobiles. They want us want to utilize our spotting scopes, let them have their fishing, have, have all that biology taken care of before we impose what we're doing. But we're pretty passive. I mean, it's easy to feel good watching eagles. So it, it kind of lends uh, back and forth. And, and the eagles really put on remarkable shows. Those shows draw bird lovers from all over. Randy Davidson is a Keokuk native who currently lives in Oklahoma. And even though his home is 500 miles away, his love of photographing eagles has driven him to visit Keokuk for the bird's annual return. Nothing compares to the bald eagle, nothing. It's, they're just spectacular. Their wingspan is, is just majestic, and, they're, and we have them in Oklahoma, but not like we have them here. Unlike birds that commonly fly south for the winter, eagles prefer the abject cold. So winter days where temperatures are unseasonably warm, eagle sightings may be few and far between. Still, if you keep your camera ready, you could capture a once-in-a-lifetime shot. I've only seen like four or five today. I think there's more with the scopes on the Illinois side. Uh, but I have some friends that are photographers that had a shot of about 50 in one shot. So there's plenty around here. You just have to be patient and, and willing to dig for it. Braving the cold can be a lot to ask of some people in the middle of January in Iowa. 
But when that request is to watch a convocation of eagles soaring through the air, it's no wonder Bald Eagle Appreciation Days regularly sees more than 5,000 visitors. In 31 years, and we continue to see our numbers steadily grow. And I think it's, it's a huge credit to the tourism department here in, in Keokuk that we, we've focused an awful lot on the eagles over the years. But looking at other conservation topics to introduce the public to other things that they may want to uh, take interest in. But it's, I think it's just a good time of year for people to have something to do, get, get out of that little cabin fever they may have from sitting around all, all winter long so far.